I'm neither an economist or a scholar. I'm just an average American who lost my home and very nearly my family to foreclosure when the market imploded. And I've spent almost every day since trying to find out why. Once the dust settled, it quickly became clear that my story was no different than millions of other Americans. We all thought that we were alone. We all thought that we'd failed. But none of us really knew why. With a gun in her hand, Addie Polk apparently shot herself in the chest as deputies were knocking on her door with eviction papers in hand. This dramatic increase in mortgage fraud cases was the canary in the mine. It was the warning. This was money chasing people. This was not somebody looking for a loan. It was all designed to maximize profits for all of the different players. The person who sold you a loan made more money if they sold you a higher rate loan. They were sold a lot. They're selling to their very clients these loans that they know are a disaster. I lost my home, not because of money, because of fraud. I don't believe Addie Polk took out the mortgage on her home. I don't believe she signed any documents. They just generated all this junk, took home huge bonuses, and then when it collapsed, they said, oh, not us. This notion that the financial crisis was, there wasn't fraud and there wasn't crime, is absolutely wrong. It's dead. They were targeting, in many cases, minorities. We were waiting for the leadership to say, go. That never happened. The investigation was suppressed. This was all part of the same puzzle that was falling apart. This is the largest conspiracy of lies in the history of the world. This investigation has just begun. 